Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I am Sneha Harshita Mudasani. I am a recent computer science graduate uh, who is deeply passionate about software development. During my final year, I have done a major project and a minor project. My major project uh, title is classification of damaged buildings using remote sensing imagery. That is, we take uh, satellite images after earthquake and we uh, we uh, collect them into a data set. We train the data set by, and the image process. That is where image processing is done. And then the output uh, expected is uh, the damage is classified as uh, no damaged buildings, uh, moderately damaged buildings and uh, highly damaged buildings. Okay. And that is the output we got. How can you rate yourself on job? So I would rate myself on a 4 out of 5. Okay, good. So can you please explain about the uh, different types of memory in Jiva? Uh, so it is a uh, heap memory, stack memory, uh, method uh, area, uh, PC register, and uh, native uh, static method. Okay. Tell me about the uh, garbage collector project. Uh, so whenever an object is no longer referenced uh, in the program, it is eligible for garbage collection. Why should we do? Uh, for uh, memory allocation, that is, if um, if you are not using garbage collection, mm -hmm. the memory would be like that only. So, in order to save the memory, we use garbage collection okay. and uh, it can be done in three ways. Okay. Nulling the reference, assigning the new object and uh, anonymous object. And we can uh, call the, and we can perform the garbage collection by calling system.gc method. Mm -hmm. um, it internally calls finalize method. Okay. What is the difference between finalize, final, finally? So, final is a keyword. Uh, where we use uh, for variables that is if we use a final keyword its value is constant that is it cannot be modified further okay and uh, finally is a block finally is a keyword for only for a variable or can i use for a class and method also so we can use for the method uh, but I, if okay. we use uh, finally for a class it cannot be further extended very good tell me what is a dcm by school math so, uh, a uh, table is said to be in DCNF if it is in 3NF and for every functional uh, dependency, x tends to y, x is a super key. So, can I explain it by using it? Yes. Yes. So, let us suppose that this table consists of employee ID, department name, department type, the, that is there would be separate uh, different departments and employee de department number. Let us suppose that there are... Uh, for uh, two employees and their departments are uh, different one is designing department uh, manufacturing sales and hr department and these department types would be same uh, let us suppose one, one, two, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. we can uh, one person can uh, work in two departments but the employee number uh, department number is different that is uh, we can say that functional Dependence is nothing but if department exists, then employee exists. So for every functional dependency, that is uh, department uh, name and employee is uh, interrelated. And this is the super key. That is we can uniquely identify by using department name. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you.